Okay, let me just use this Swedish Fish box to just elevate my phone a little higher because I don't have the tripod with me here. It is Yoshi coming at you from my apartment. I love that like awkward pause. Like I don't, it's not like I filmed this like three times. Uh, anyway, hopefully this set was kind of cool, you know? This is my apartment. Well, not the whole thing, it's my, it's my room, so. I'm pretty sure I'm the only one here right now, and if I'm not, then this is gonna be really weird. Because people are gonna question why the hell I'm talking to myself. So I think, I think my roommates aren't here. So if they are, I'll probably hear about it. <laughs> but anyway, oh, I wanna show you something. So I recently designed a flyer, okay? This is kind of like a shameless plug for my friend's toy store, okay? Uh, there you go. And I made this, made this little flyer kind of like a mail away thing, you know, stuff like that. I just wanted to show that off. And then also it, it gives like, you know, Yoshi's commission work. Commission me to do things, please. So, you know, I'm looking around at the Masters of the Universe content on YouTube, seeing what's been done already. Cause you know, people review things, people, do their favorite figures, stuff like that. And I don't want to copy other people. I don't want to be, do what's done, you know, reinvent the wheel. Unless you want to see me reinvent the wheel, then let me know if you want Yoshi to do the exact same thing that everybody else is doing. Let me know. But I was thinking, what hasn't been done? What can I contribute to the table? Because I do want to keep making Master of the Universe content, but I don't really know what to do. And I think there's something that I can contribute that I don't think anybody else has done yet. I have compiled a list of the top 10 most attractive Masters of the Universe characters, in my opinion. This list is very important. It should not be taken lightly. Okay, this is something that, this is something that the Masters of the Universe fandom community needs okay and, and i'm here to give it to you guys today and this video okay because this is did i even introduce did i even do an introduction did i did i do that i don't even remember also also this is a stanley cup it is not the stanley those like big ones you know we have those at my house, okay? My parents gave this to me because, you know, my dad keeps up with the trends. He's like, I think the kids are into these these days. So uh, he got me a Stanley, um, which I think is really funny. I think it's funny. And we have like about three Stanleys at the house. I love how my dad, you know, keeps up with the trends. You know, I can really tell he's paying attention. But anyway, I, I just thought it was funny because, you know, I am Generation Alpha, you know, Gen Z people, but we're not. We don't really do the whole Stanley thing, but you know, an honorary Gen Alpha moment. Honorary Gen Alpha moment with the uh, Stanley Cup. So I thought that was like a little fun thing to show here as well. Number 10 on the list of most attractive Masters of the Universe characters. We have none other than Webstorm. Okay, now you're probably wondering how in the world do you even get to this conclusion? You know? I ask myself the same thing because look at him, look at him. But hear me out, hear me out. He's got like a nice chiseled, nice chiseled jawline. And you know, I really like the contour of his face, okay? He's got very chiseled features. I love chiseled features. Chiseled features are fantastic. So, you know, and he's kind of got that, he's attractive, alien-like. Is it focusing on me? Hold on. Focus, focus on him, please. See, 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 see. So look at that profile view. He's got a little bit of a flat face, but he's got very chiseled features. Look at those, look at those ears. All right, you can't tell me that those ears are not, are not attractive, okay? He's got the pointy ears, okay? He's got the fun, weird looking head sculpts or whatever. So yeah, this is why, this is why WebStore is on uh, number 10 on the list, okay? Look, how can you, how can you, how can you not? Number nine on the list might be a little bit controversial 
because some might say he should be higher on the list but there are just more attractive characters okay like he's on the list but you know there's some there's some people who are a little more attractive than him so uh, this is number nine on the list is Skeletor okay Skeletor is number nine you know when he was Keldor he was also hot like very hot you know he had the chisel jawline going on he had that like Yeah, that weird, like, sexy man appeal, you know? Um, and then this, when he turned into Skeletor, he just became even more hot, you know? Like, he became very attractive. And you might be wondering, how can someone without a face be attractive? Just look. Just look. He's doing it. You don't need any explanation because he's, he's doing it. He is being attractive AF without a face. Like, look. Every man strives to be this all right after just a lot of thinking to remember the list because you know i was having a hard time remembering the list but like okay, we got it we got it okay number eight on the list i don't have a figure to show but it is none other than buzz off you cannot deny that buzz off is fine he is very hot you know you're probably wondering like, how you know i thought the same thing at first i was like yo no he's kind of ugly but then the more the more you look at him, the more you get accustomed to buzz off. He's very hot, okay? Like that face, he's got that just like painted face. He's got the crazy bug eyes, you know? He's got the got that smirk. Yo. Know, I don't know how else to explain that he is very good looking. And I'm mostly referring to his vintage head sculpt. It's weird, I know, but anyway, yeah, number eight is definitely, definitely buzz off. Okay, so yeah, he had to be on the list in some way. Number seven. Is this gonna be mirrored or should I go this way? On the list, Tuvar. Okay, Tuvar, sorry, Badra, but Tuvar is the good looking side of you guys. Okay, that blue skin. Okay, he's got that, that light blue. He also has the chiseled face. If you're noticing a trend, chiseled faces instantly, you know, get you above that average, that average category of you have nice chiseled features. All right, so two bars have the very nice chiseled features. You know, in a way, Web Store and him kind of have some similarities. I mean, two bar only has two eyes, but you know, there's a little bit of similarities with the weird head things. The weird, the weird accent marks. Don't ask what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. The, he's, they got the weird stuff going on with, with that. I hope you're enjoying this list. Number six on the list, we have Fisto. Okay, here he is. Now, you're probably wondering, how is this even possible from this vintage head sculpt? Take a look at how he looks in Revelation. Oh my, words cannot describe Fisto, okay? I mean, his name is just so... But you know, this head sculpt too is kind of like growing on me a little bit. Like, he's got that crazy Roman nose. He's got like a beak going on there. And you know, he weirdly is like, you know, chivalry. I mean could wax the eyebrows a little bit, you know. But he's got the nice, nice skin tone too, you know. That's another thing that makes you attractive. <laughs> Characters that have a very nice glow. Very nice, like, you know, tan going on. Bumps up their score, so. Um, yeah, this is, you know, number six. <laughs> number five, the halfway point is Men at Arms. Now, once again, the vintage head sculpt, no. It, the, the vintage head sculpt does not convey the true aura that is man at arms, okay? If you take a look at how he looks in Revelation, the man has aged like fine wine. He gets hotter the older he gets, okay? That is my goal in life. B 
be, be, be like men in arms, you know? You don't want to age like milk, okay? You want to age like man in arms, okay? Duncan. Every time you see him in a new frame, it's like, oh my god. Red wine. White wine. He's beautiful. He's beautiful. He's got like a very stocky build and very handsome face, okay? Like, we, you cannot deny uh, with man in arms here. We are to the number four spot on the top 10 most attractive masters of the universe characters in Yoshi's opinion. A very valuable video that, you know, I needed to contribute to the community, you know, I think it's my duty, my job as Yoshi, the college toy collector. So, all right, number four, without further ado, Prince Adam. Okay, now, both this version and the Revelation version are very hot, okay, for different reasons. Okay, he does have a nice complexion going on here. His face sculpt is very masculine. I like a masculine face sculpt. Once again, chiseled features. Masculine face sculpt. His hair is just like naturally windswept going on here, and it's a nice shade of blonde, okay? But, Revelation Prince Adam, oh my god, oh my god. Every time he's on screen, it's like, Revolution He-Man now? I can't really consider them like two different characters and stuff, you know, unfortunately. But, you know, Revolution He-Man is just ridiculous. Oh my goodness. So, Prince Adam. Prince Adam's very hot. He's very, he's very sexy. He's very cute. He's one of those characters that you can actually describe as cute, adorable. Prince Adam. So, yes. Mm hmm You cannot even deny it. You can't, can't even deny this guy. Number three three on the list. You're probably gonna think this ranking is a little absurd considering my track record, okay? But hear me out. We have Clamp Champ at number three. You're probably wondering, why is he not number one? I thought he was your favorite character. You can be my favorite character and not be the most attractive one, okay? That is a thing. That is a thing. They are two separate things. And the fact that he made it to the top three is a good thing, okay? He's a very attractive character, both in his vintage head sculpt as well as every iteration that has ever existed. Clam Champ has always been beautiful. He's never had a bad day. He wakes up on the right side of the bed and looks hot as fuck every time he looks in the mirror. Gorgeous, very mature face. You know, down to earth kind of got face. He's serious. He's got beautiful complexion going on here. I'm sure any kind of hairstyle he would want to try would be amazing. But you know, he kind of just goes with the, the short hair, which is fine. But his features, chiseled line, chiseled features, they're my favorite. They're my favorite. I really, I really like the chiseled features. Okay. The more freaking geometric your face looks. Okay, well, I don't want your face to look square, okay? Characters that have like a square face, okay, too square. You gotta, you gotta have like the right amount of parallelogram. I mean, you know what I mean, you know what I mean? Like more of the trigonometric stuff, not squares, not rectangles. You know? there's, a, there's a fine line, a fine line, and Clam Jam does it well, as do all the characters here on the list. So yeah, Clam Jam number three. Okay. You know, if the other two didn't exist, obviously he'd be number one. We are down to the number two spot on the list. Okay. The number two spot on Yoshi's Masters of the Universe list is none other than Cyclone. And lucky you guys, I have two Cyclones to show for this because, you know, I also have this guy that I had shipped to my apartment, so that's why I have him. His legs are backwards. All right, Origin Cyclone. The head sculpt on this guy. They did not need to do this, they did not need to do this. They, they went above and beyond. Like, did they reference literal supermodels when sculpting this guy's head? Did they look at the cover of Vogue to get a head sculpt? For a cyclone here because the product images he looked mighty fine the figure he looks mighty fine this is an attractive guy 
it's cool because he is also a gar and he is on the heroic warrior side you know the vintage face it's not bad and stuff but you can tell they just this is everything that the vintage figure was trying to be let me calm down with cyclone here and how attractive he is oh my god he's got like that kind of asian look he got that sexy asian man appeal he's got like the perfect the perfect cheekbones just enough to where it doesn't look like he had plastic surgery like you know when it's absolutely fake fake is not good looking he's got the perfect amount of cheekbone to where it looks natural and he's a natural beauty he's a natural beauty just so masculine but so elegant so mature it's so feminine he's just got he's got that perfect balance of everything he does his eyebrows he should teach fisto how to wax your eyebrows because this this is a this is a nicely kept man facial hair eyebrows you know so uh, i can go on and on about how attractive cyclone is you know i can almost go so on and on that why is he not in first place you know he honestly should be in first place i honestly don't know why he's not but i guess i'll explain myself when that time comes so which is like literally about right now but all right, before we get with our number one place, we got to do some honorable mentions because, you know, all these lists always got to hold off first place and we got to do the honorable mentions. So the people who it's like, you know, you're good looking, but you, you know, you just didn't quite make the list. One of our honorable mentions, Faker. Now hear me out. He is a robot. No, I am not into robots. He is just a lot hotter than He-Man. You're probably wondering how... How is Faker more attractive than He-Man? I said Prince Adam is good looking, okay? But Faker here is just, he's just a little more good looking than He-Man himself. I can't count the revolution He-Man because like I said, we're just, we're trying. We're doing the best we can, okay? We can only fit so much in here, okay? Revolution He-Man's hot, okay? I'm not saying he's not, but Faker here, Faker here is mighty fine. I think the blue just brings out everything that He-Man needs. Like, He-Man's features are just so hidden away. But then once he's blue, it's like... It brings out, it brings out his good, his good features, okay? It brings out... Look at, look at, you can't... I shouldn't even have to just, I should, I shouldn't even have to explain. I should just look at him and you know why. And if you don't, then that's very unfortunate. The other honorable mention, you're gonna have to hear me out on this one, okay? This is a little crazy. It's a little crazy, and that's why it's not on the main list. Mechanic. Okay. How does this... How? Just... Look at his face. Other than this weird thing. He's got a good face. He's got, he's got a good, nice, attractive face. You can only imagine what his face looks like under the helmet. But the helmet, honestly, it works with him. It works with his contours. It works with... Really bringing out, really bringing out the, the jawline, the cheeks. He's got a good, he's got a good complexion, a good right amount of color in his skin. You know what I mean? And you know, the, the, the glasses make him look so slick, so futuristic. I don't even know. Like, he's a little weird, but you know, that's why he's not on the main list. If he's like normal, he's like, oh yeah, I just dress like this. I just dress like whatever the hell this is, uh, he'd be good, but he'd be really hot. He'd be really, you can't deny. You can't deny, he's not ugly. For Yoshi's number one spot on the top 10 most attractive Masters of the Universe characters is none other than Triclops. This is the worst representation I can be using to explain why Triclops is the hottest Master of the Universe. This is actually the worst one, but this is the only one I have here. So this, we're never gonna look at this again. So just wanted to show. Okay. Triclops, his vision, his vision. You gotta picture the artistic vision that they successfully, they successfully managed to pull off in Revelation. The way Triclops looks in Revelation and Revolution, you know? Perfection of a man. 
you can't even deny everything about him is perfect. You know, the eyes are a little weird, but you get used to it. It, it makes him unique. It makes him different because nobody else is like that, you know. He's got like, he's got, he's hot, but he also has this weird eye thing going on, you know. It's okay. You know, we all have our differences. Triclops just has, you know, three eyes. Okay, so, but you can't deny, look, his face is gorgeous. His hair is gorgeous. His body is gorgeous. The way he dresses is gorgeous. You know, he even works the whole the whole cult uniform, okay? Only he can work it, okay? Trap jaw, not so much, not so much. You gotta get out of the way for Triclops because Triclops is hot as fuck. Um, I'm sure, you know, I don't really know if I need to say anything else. Like, perfect skin complexion, perfect angular features, perfect everything, voice, Voice is very, very good as well, you know, very masculine. He, he's got big arms. He has big forearms. Big forearms are always fun on men, you know? Big forearms, okay? Because I can dream. But until they make another character look hotter than Triclops, and that whether that be in action figure form or that be in cartoon form, until I see someone who's hotter than Triclops, Triclops will always be at the top of the list. I mean, him and Cyclone are really the, up there. Those two, they're really up there. I mean, the more and more I think about it, they, they're both so good looking in their own ways, okay? Like, can you even compare the two? But that's who I ultimately ended up going with for number one out of list. So... Oh wait, I gotta do like the really stupid thumbnails, but I don't want to give anything away. You know, I'll do one of those, I'll choose a character that's not even on the list. I think that'd be funny, right? Like, that'd be funny, funny, because you'd be like, how can you possibly think that? And they're like, not even on the list, so. Let's... This is ridiculous, okay. You know, I almost feel like that's incredibly insulting to whatever character I decide to choose to be, like, the clickbaity guy that isn't even on the list, but we're just, you know, gotta get people to click the video. <laughs> Sorry, Trapjaw, I love you, but you're just, like, not, you're just not one of the good-looking guys, you know? You know, your body's nice, but then that face, not so much, but... What did you think of this video? What, I'm sure you were not expecting it. You certainly were not expecting to click on a video to listen to someone rank Masters of the Universe characters based off of how attractive they are. You, I'm going to search YouTube, you know, one more time to make sure that's not a thing. And if for some reason it is, for some reason, if it's a thing, it's not Yoshi's List, okay? You came for Yoshi's List, so this is Yoshi's List, and this is something that I thought would be like just so funny. Don't take it too seriously, guys, all right? <laughs> it's not serious whatsoever. I mean, these characters, the, the, the list is very much so true. What I'm saying is, it's for funsies. It's for fun. It's fun, okay? Don't get, don't get all tied up in it, okay? It's very much so serious because these, the people on the list are very deserving of their places, but Never mind that. I'm trying I'm trying to end the video and I don't know how. Do you look how I'm like gritted on one side? I'm like literally like graph paper on one side of my shirt. You know, this is like the fit I decided to go with for my single electrical engineering class this morning. Um, I don't know why I like circuits, am I right? I don't know what a capacitor is. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like comment and subscribe for more content from Yoshi the college toy collector let me know what other he-man motu related videos you would like to see if you do want to see me do things that other people do let me know because i don't want to just copy people you know oversaturate the market like if you actually like that i've heard from a few people that they like hearing my opinions and my perspectives on things. So if you genuinely actually want to see me do the exact same thing as everybody else, let me know and I will consider it, okay? 
if this video gets a lot of views and people really like it and I get a lot of comments saying, oh wow, that was amazing. Oh wow, that was so stupid. Wow, that was the biggest waste of my time. <laughs> if the feedback is overall positive, then that's great. Let me know, do you want other stupid <laughs> tier lists? Are they like, really dumb? Completely irrelevant tier lists? Like, let me know. Do you want me to talk about other toy lines I collect? I collect other toy lines too. I've been doing this rodeo for a hot minute, so. If you just want to hear Yoshi talk about toys, let me know. It's like my, it's one of my personality traits. One of my many personality traits. So I will leave it at that. Okay. All right.